Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I am on week almost four of recovering from COVID. Luckily, my symptoms have pretty much gone away for the most part, just kind of lingering here and there. But today I have something very exciting to share with you. I'd recently showed you a what's in my bag for the Neverfull MM. And I had disclosed that it was an older bag that I had that was not authentic. And I was using it to see, you know, if I wanted to go ahead and purchase the authentic one. And I did. So this is the monogram Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. The first thing you'll notice, of course, is that the side pieces are missing. That is a huge deal breaker for some people. For me personally, it was not. This came from eBay from a Japanese seller. I am planning to do a video on the things that I look out for when I'm buying pre-loved specifically on eBay. So this is an older style. I'm gonna pull my organizer out for a second here. And I got it for an incredible deal. The thing with eBay is you kind of have to be patient if you wanna get the good deal. So you have the older style florette interior and the script Louis Vuitton writing, which I love. The inside of the bag is pretty dirty. I would say that you can see some staining on the bottom there and the missing sides are really the biggest flaws. Everything else is in great condition. The canvas, I could probably wipe down to make it look just a little bit nicer, but overall, like it's still in great condition. The straps are floppy, which I love. They're just so much more comfortable that way. And I've already been using it a ton, so it's just in really great condition. The glazing is pretty much gone on the sides. Also doesn't bother me, but I'm not gonna bore you too much. I mean, we've seen Neverfull MMs a bajillion times on YouTube. It's not a new bag, but it is a classic for a reason. And I just currently have this organizer in here. I wanted something, when I first got this, it was not very structured and I don't typically go for the structured look. Like I don't love the way that looks. I'd rather it be more like this. However, I felt like it needed to be trained just a little bit to stand. So for now, I'm using it. This is all my items in here. I can go through them very quickly. I have two pairs of sunglasses, a cheap pair, and my Louis pair. I also have my favorite lip trio, which I probably should have put on before starting this video. And that is a million times better already. Then I have my clay, which currently just has some spare change and my SD cards. I have a mask. I have my Louis Vuitton notebook. These are so hard to get your hands on. Um, I did get them on the website. As soon as I saw them become available, I quickly snatched one up for me and my best friend. Then I have a hair clip, my four ring key holder. It does, I did have my car key hanging out here, but my husband is changing my brakes at the moment, so I don't have my car key. And then I have my AirPods, the Pochette Accessoire. I recently got a new strap. This is modeled off of the new model strap. Um, it is from M Craft Leathers on Etsy. And it just hangs a little lower than the original strap. Plus I love the look of new Vachetta. I feel like it's just gives it a little moment. It's very cute, very 2000s. Yeah, and then in here I have my Felici insert, which just has some cards in it. I use that as like my full size wallet. And then a newer purchase, I have the Louis Vuitton business card holder in black emprunt leather. This actually holds a ton. So you have a compartment in the front here, which I just have my two most used cards. And then in the back here, I have my, my ID and such, and then a little bit of cash. And then I have some random stuff. So this is the strap I use on my Pachette Accessoire when it rains. I also have some pens in here. I would never put these in a bag if I didn't have an organizer, but these are my favorite pens. They're the Sharpie S gel pens. I use them every day at work. So that's everything in here at the moment. I am so happy that I decided to utilize the one I already had to make sure that it was something that I wanted. And then when I realized I would definitely get my use out of it, I went ahead and bought the real thing. Like I said, I got a great deal on this. I'm very, very pleased with the quality. The corners are 
basically brand new, like there's no wear. Like I said, you have to be patient if you're gonna buy it from eBay. Keep an eye out, sellers, some of my favorite sellers, which I can of course link down below, including the one that I bought this from, they sometimes have really good deals. The other day there was a 35% off on top of all of the other percentages they had already taken off. So if you just keep your eye out, you will find what you want. I recommend liking and watching items. Um, I personally don't do any eBay bidding. <clears throat> there have been other people on YouTube that have really good success stories doing that. Um, honestly, it's just too stressful for me. I would rather just find something that I know I like that I can just like put an offer in or purchase, so. That's how I felt about this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Sorry I was gone for a couple of weeks. As you can tell, I am still recovering, but for the most part, I am back and happy to be filming. So until next time.